Hi, welcome to this next Cloud video. I'm Jos. Today I'd like to show you how our release channels work. Release channels are a way for you to pick the update pace that fits your needs best. Maybe you want the latest features, maybe you want to help testing, or maybe you'd rather be more conservative and upgrade a bit behind others. Let's have a look at how Nextcloud helps you get what you want. To make it easy to pick the best update strategy, we offer a choice of four release channels. First is production. When an update is made available, production gets it last, but that means issues are found and reported, so you know what you get. A newer version might have these issues fixed already though, so production is not necessarily more stable, it's just more predictable. Second is stable. This is what we recommend for most users. We test our releases extensively, as you probably have noticed from our reliable upgrades. We'll talk a bit about the secret behind it in the blog that comes with this video. Stable simply gets you the latest features once they are available. Note that we roll out new versions incrementally. On release day, about 15% of the users will get a notification of the new version. In the weeks after release, we increase that percentage or, if issues are found, we delay until a fix is made available. Now maybe you don't want to wait. Indeed, if there are issues, they typically affect only a small percentage of users. Otherwise, testing would have found them. So if you'd like to benefit from the improvements and want to see what is new, around the release date, you can switch to the beta channel. This will get you the latest stable version right away. Now, of course, if you stay on beta, you can help us test. Because whenever a beta or release candidate is made available, we put it in this channel. Last but not least, there is the daily channel. If you found and reported an issue or a feature request and we've implemented it, you can try it out on a daily. Typically, daily are updates of the latest stable release, so they're not entirely unstable. It is not the latest development version. So they are actually quite safe to use. The thing you have to know is that switching between these channels can only be done in one direction, up. You can go from production to stable, to beta, to daily. But Nextcloud doesn't support downgrades, so going the other way requires you to wait until a newer version is available in the channel. So you can move from beta to stable, but you will only get a new version when there is a new version that's newer than the latest you updated to. So if you update it from Nextcloud 11.0.1 to the beta of Nextcloud 12, you'll have to wait until the final version of 12 is out before you can get back to the stable channel. I mean, you can switch a channel that just won't be an update till the new version is out. Okay, now let's have a look at how this works. We log in as administrator and go to the system settings. Now, here you can see that we're currently on Nextcloud 11.0.2 and you can switch to a newer version. Now, if we switch the channel to beta, you see suddenly Nextcloud 12 is available. So this installation did not fall into the percentage of installations where we made Nextcloud 12 available yet. And of course in production, you still have 11. And there is daily. Now, let's have a look how this upgrade works. We switch back to the beta channel. As you see, we can go to Nextcloud 12 now. And now we open the updater. As you see, we can now go to Nextcloud 12. So let's put the updater to work. Downloading, backing up, extracting, and we will use the web-based updater. I have to refresh the page and there is next slide 12, start the update. As you see, this does not take very long. And welcome to next slide 12. Thank you for watching.